When Mickey Arthur was sacked as coach of the Australian cricket team, he said that he would take the high road and not go off blaming people. Sure, it was a shock for everyone, let alone himself, especially just before the Ashes 2013 started as the Australia team had already arrived in England. But just a few days after the first Ashes test had finished, Arthur was suing Cricket Australia for 4 million Australian dollars. He claimed that he was never accepted in Australia due to his South African background and that he was made a scapegoat in the national team's poor fortunes. He has made revelations about certain members of the Australian team that could create more than just a few uncomfortable moments. He said that Captain Michael Clarke had called Shane Watson a cancer. It is a known fact that tensions have been at a fever pitch in the Australian dressing room ever since Clark and Arthur had suspended four players for the Mahali test against India in March 2013. Watson was amongst the players and it was Arthur who got the blame. Arthur claimed that it was Watson who tipped him off when David Warner had punched England's Joe Root. These revolutions came at an important and testing time for Australia. They lost the first test by the nearest of margins. England would be licking their lips at the unease in the opposing dressing room. Along with Clark, Watson is Australia's senior most cricketer and it might certainly be healthy for the team if there are factions within. With the Lord's Test beginning on July 18th, Australia did not need another controversy engulfing them, especially with this already being one of the most controversial tours Australia has ever had. And to think about it, four tests and an entire ODI series is remaining. Only time will tell if Australia come through the Arthur Revolutions as a better team or not.